This is going to be pretty cool. We got a big herd of mountain goats coming across this frozen river here. And what I'm trying to do is let them come as close as possible. And then we're going to try and take down as many of them as we can using the 338 Magnum. So I'm hoping we can get at least two, maybe even three of these things. My initial shot is going to be an attempted double. In other words, we're going to try and get two with one shot. And then after that, we're just going to unload. All right. So my ultimate goal is to get them about 100 yards out, which is going to be right here where the frozen river turns into a liquid. Right there is where we really, really want them to get to ideally i don't think a triple is possible but for now definitely we want to try and attempt to get a double we tried this yesterday on whitetail actually no it was mule deer but now we're going to try it on some mountain goat mountain goat are well they're a little bit thicker uh, skin than say the whitetail and in, in other words their fur is way way thicker and tougher than a whitetail but you never know you never know it might be just doable all right, so they're all kind of facing directly towards us, which is honestly not ideal for a shot. But I feel like eventually they should turn, especially when they get to this opening right here. They have no reason to not turn broadside because once they get here, they're going to have to start turning and go either left or right. All right, guys, we've been sitting here so long now waiting for the perfect moment. And it's about to happen. There we go. They're broadside. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I almost had one. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect shot. That should be a double. That should be a double. Drilled that one as well. Drilled that one as well. Missed that one. I'm out of bullets. Reload. Grab the other rifle. Or just reload. Get on him. Get on him. All right, so we should, in fact, have about three or potentially even four mountain goats down. Holy, they're way the heck up there, guys. 400 yards out. I'm going to zero in for 320 and see if we can't get a follow-up on one of these out here. Look, and I'm going way the heck up there. 470 yards. Holy. Oh, they're slowing down. Oh my god, drilled him. Drilled him. 470 yards. And he is absolutely drilled. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a question. If we wait long enough, are they actually going to run all the way back down here to us again? I don't know. We're about to take this one down, though. That's all I know. Smoked. Look at the blood. That thing is going down instantly. Take a look at this. He's going to go down right there. Dude, that's a tough, tough billy. And he's going down right there. He's down. All right, so we got him marked. I got two more shots left here. Drilled him. Another absolute epic shot. Look at the blood. He's already down. Dude, we double lung heart shot that thing at about 560. And we're about to take it right Now, think that was a good shot. Might have been a little bit high, but it was a pretty good shot. Did we get anything down here? The question I have is, did we actually get a double? I don't know, but I think there's only four mountain goats left in this entire herd. So if we play our cards right, we should be able to potentially take out this entire herd of mountain goat. I just don't have a shot just yet. Let's reload while we're sitting here waiting. Look at all the markings that we have here. This is going to be interesting, trying to find all these mountain goats. All right, so that guy's about to step out from behind that tree, and when he does, we'll have a shot. But I could probably go for a quartering angle on this one here. Whoa! What an epic shot. Dropped him right there. Woo! Pretty sure that was a neck shot. They're going up the hill. 
going way up the hill and then what i think happens is they turn left and they run back down through the valley and kind of circle back that's what i think happens oh here they come here they come oh boy here oh look at the blood that must be from a different one Oh boy, I think they're actually coming back to us, guys. They're gonna come all the way back down here. Let's watch. Either way, I'm zeroing back in for 200 because they're getting close. Holy, they're getting close. Keep an eye on them, keep an eye on them. I kind of lost sight of them in these trees here. We got eyes on you now. Oh yeah, we do. Going up the hill. And he just piled over right there. Got another one up on the top. Oh, curve left, curve left. Got him. We dropped that mountain goat right there. I think we just neck shot him at 580 yards and with that I think we took down the entire herd of mountain goat Whew. wow that was quite impressive not only that it's gonna give us a ton of cash all right so I'm really curious though whether or not we actually got that double. Like, it should have been a double. For sure, it should have been a double. Is there even any blood here? Oh, yeah. There's really good blood here. Medium amount of blood. And small amounts of blood. So, it appears that we definitely hit two different mountain goats here because we have two different blood trails well, actually we have three there's one right here that's the medium one and then there's two more over there now but we shot the second one here or i should say the third one on the run but i do believe one of these should be hit from the double but man they are tough look how far it's gonna go I mean, we hit it with a 338. It's going to say intestine. Wow, okay. So I actually held a little far back so that way we could go through. Because if we don't hit ribs and like upper chest, there's a good chance the bullet's going to keep on going through. And, uh, you know, continue on through and hit hopefully another one, which... It seems like it did. We got one down piled up right here. So this should be one of the doubles. All right, there we go. There's our shot. Hold on, is that the second one? No, that was just an epic running shot is what that was. I don't think... 300 yeah 316 yards this is just a running epic shot that's what that is there and it was a female so that's not the one that we're trying to track down but we still have blood here where are the rest of them got blood over here all right, here we go. We got one marked right here, as a matter of fact. Right on top of us. All right, let's pick this one up. Yeah, that was the neck shot. Got him in the neck. Oh, hold on. That's actually the first shot. We hit this one twice. 522 yards. And we hit it in the spine and artery, and that didn't take it down? Because then we shot it again. At 490 yards and made a double lung heart shot. Man, these things are tough. Wow. 
Let's find out what it was. It was actually just a young. So obviously we're going to take down a lot of mountain goats here that we probably shouldn't have. Or I guess aren't going to grow to be super big five star mountain goats. But that's not really the purpose of this hunt here. It's more about taking down as many as we could from one herd. And trying to get a bunch of money while doing it. Dude, check out this view from up here. Hold on, I got an idea. Check this out. Alright, that was not a very good idea. I can't see crap. Is that one there? Hold on, maybe it was a good idea. Maybe it was because I'm pretty sure I found a mountain goat down. Right down over there. Alright, so there should be one laying right here. In fact, there's the one laying right here. But I'm actually not seeing a ton of blood. In fact, I don't think... Interesting. Medium amount of blood, but time to expire instant. Pink. So, was it a neck shot or what? Alright, first shot. Intestine running away. At 140 yards. So that right there is one of the ones that we got on the run in the very beginning. And it was a male young. But then the second shot got double lung and artery at 580 yards. And then we got another one that should be down right over here. Oh boy. Yep, right here. There we go. That's 127 yard shot. That's the one, that's the one right there. Okay. So here is the first one that we hit. I hit far back to hopefully compensate and be able to make our bullet go through far enough to be able to hit a second one. We actually just clipped the back of the left lung as well. So that did work out pretty good. And yeah, that's a one star adult. That's the one I wanted to get. Okay, cool. But then. Was there two of them laying here? What the heck? I thought I just picked one up and all of a sudden I looked and there's another one laying right here. This shot actually hit the uh, back hind quarter, the main artery in the back hind quarter. And that's what took this one down at 170 yards so we hit him on the run but man he still ran a long ways and that was actually a three star no a two star mature all right so we got really good blood here but then i don't know where it went i got it marked like three times here there's good blood here as well yeah good blood what in the heck? There's one down there. I saw that from before. Right there. But I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, found one. Right there, I found one. But where is that in uh, perspective from like where we're at? Where are we though? I don't know. I don't know like where, oh, we're, dude. <laughs> we're right there. Look, all we got to do is turn right and we'll walk right into it. There it is. We found it. All right, so that was a 485 yard left lung and right lung shot. On an adult female. Then the only other one that I know of is down here somewhere. Yeah, right here. And I'm pretty sure that should be it. Aside from the one that we hit with the uh, blood rate medium, I don't know where that one went. There it is. No way. I think that's it. Hold on. 
Oh my god, that's it. That's it. We found it. Dude, we found the double. We found the double. But unfortunately, it didn't take it down. It only stuck into one lung, and that shot didn't take it down. Because it kept on running. So that means it wasn't going to go down. Dude, that's so cool. So now we know you can take down another animal, but uh, it's not going to give you enough blood rate to be able to take it down fast enough. So then we shot it again at 395 yards, just clipped the back of the lung and got liver and took him down. But that's the one. If you go back in the beginning and watch the very first shot, this is the one that was behind it. And we did in fact connect almost perfectly. You know, just didn't have a ton of penetration. And that was it. It just barely, barely went into one lung. And then stopped. Like halfway through the lung. It didn't even go all the way through that lung. That's so cool. So if it hits the rib... It's slowing it down quite a bit. But had we not hit that rib, I'm almost wondering if we would have had at least a pure single lung. Like we only got partial, because look, once it hit that rib, then it literally just barely touched the lung. So we got rib, lung. Just barely entering lung. And that's it. It just barely entered the lung. Which in real life would take it down, but... There we have it. Now we know what happens. And that was only 128 yards, too. So, that's the one that we were trying to find. And I'm pretty sure... That that's gonna be it. Pretty sure that's it. Unless somehow we missed another one down here. I highly doubt it. Alright guys, so now that you know pretty much what we did, I'm going to show you exactly how we did it and made everything happen. Okay, so you're going to go onto the map and we're on the very west end of the map over here. Right by Yee's cabin, but a little bit more west. There's a campsite right here. And what you do is set the time to 10 o'clock in the morning. And you pretty much just make sure you have your rifle out. Everything's all set, fully loaded. You just run right to this lake here and stay on the right side. And once you get there, you're going to see all the uh, mountain goats are going to come trotting through here. And you'll actually be able to take them going across this ice right over here. So it's pretty sweet. That's how I figured out this spot. Or I found this spot, I should say. I was over here just running through. And I noticed this massive herd of mountain goats trotting through this ice here. And I could have easily shot them. But I thought, you know what? I want to try and do a little bit better of a setup. So then we came back here the next day. And we saw them out here feeding and we actually let them fed all the or let them feed all the way out to the edge of this river here and once they got within 150 we went for a shot tried for a double and then cleaned up all the way up to the top of this hill that's the best part about this spot they go all the way up the mountain and they can't climb any higher then they circle back down and you literally can just sit there and keep taking down as many as you want until you get a ton of cash but that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But more importantly, I hope you guys find this video extremely helpful and beneficial to making guys a ton of cash. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.